Hello Booktube. Uh, this is a shelf tour. Uh, bookcase 14, shelf 2. Um, this is Mysteries. So um, we're going to start with uh, Classical Whodunits, edited by Mike Ashley. Uh, it's historical crime. I like these uh, volumes. They have short um, little mysteries in them. Murder and Mystery from Ancient Greece and Rome. Carol Graff Publishers Incorporated in New York um, from 1997. So you have a preface, uh, A Murder Now and Then by Stephen Saylor. Um, who we've, I've got a few of his um, Roman type mysteries. Wonderful. So the stories are Aphrodite's Trojan Horse by Amy Myers, Investigating the Sylvius Boys by Lindsay Davis, The Gateway to Death by Brené James, Death of the King by Theodore Mathiason, The Favor of a Tyrant by Keith Taylor, The White Fawn by Stephen Saylor, The Statuette of Rhodes by John Maddox Roberts, The Things That Are Caesars by Edward D. Hawk, Murderer Farewell by Ron Burns, the, uh, A Pomegranate for Pluto by Claire Griffin, The Garden of Tantalus by Brian Stableford, The Green Boy by Anthony Price, Mosaic by Rosemary Aitken, The Brothers in the Tree by Keith Heller, The Ass's Head by Phyllis Ann Carr, The Nest of Evil by Wallace Nichols, In This Sign Conquer by Nina Gale Anderson and Simon Clark, Last Things by Daryl Schweitzer, Beauty More Stealthy by Mary Reed and Eric Meyer, and The Poison Chalice by uh, Peter Tremaine. So, um, historical short uh, fiction, historical fiction, historical mysteries, historical whodunits, uh, short stories. Then I got a pile of these things, uh, Impress Mystery. So, this is a series of the best mysteries of all time, they're calling it. And impress mysteries are put out by Reader's Digest. And I'm going to show you the first one here. They all have this, they have different designs on the cover. But they're hardback. The only, the only quibble I have with them is they don't open well. They, they're a little tight and you're always afraid you're going to break them. So this one here is Ross McDonald, The Chill. Um, so they will list other books by Ross McDonald, even though they may not be published in them, which is always nice as a little bit of a reference. Here's the title page. So this volume came out in 1963, and this is uh, this story came out in 63, but the, um, this volume is in 2003. And they do a nice little thing here on the pages that they get the silhouette of the detective. So it's The Chill by Ross McDonald. And they're all they're all excellent mysteries. It's just that one little, and I like them because of uniform size and a lot of these mysteries I've only ever seen in paperback. So in that sense, they're, they're good. So again, it says up here, the best mysteries of all time. And this one is I, the Jury by Mickey Spillane. And again, all of I don't know if they're all of Mickey's books. So they're out of Pleasantville, New York. So originally came out in 47, and this is Reader's Digest 2006. So in this case, they just get a little star thing there. And here's, um, again, the same series, Ross Thomas. The cats are going crazy there. Briar Patch. So here's a little write-up about Ross Thomas. Here's a list of his books. And this was originally out in 84. And this is 2005. So here in the, each of the chapters, they did a thing like this instead of doing something on the bottom. Then... <clears throat> the Doorbell Ring by Rex, Rex Stout. And these are other Nero Wolf mysteries. This was originally um, from 65. 
and this edition is um, uh, they don't really say this is what the page designs look like then moving right along Dorothy L. Sayers Clouds of Witness so again a little symbol I don't have it on that last one some of them do and some of them don't so this shows a list of other Lord Peter Wimsey novels. Which came out in 1927. And this is from 2006. And then Dorothy B. Hughes in a Lonely Place. other crime novels and this uh, was originally out in 47 and this is from 2006 <clears throat> so I don't know how people bought these if they bought I, I get them at book sales if I see one and it's in good enough shape I'll grab it um, because they tend to be good I mean they're, they're, they're chosen because um, they're considered among the best of all time so usually I do pretty well when I buy them I don't know if people bought them by subscription like you do the magazine or anything. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. This is The Laughing Policeman, Mass Showall, and Pierre Woulou. I just butchered their names, and I apologize for that. But. Uh, translated from the Swedish by Alan Blair. And it was originally out in 70... Um, and this edition is from 2007. And then Marguerite Allingham, uh, Tiger in the Smoke. See, some of the covers are pretty nice. Um, some of her other works. Um, this originally came out in 1952, and this volume here is from 2005. And then, Dick Francis, Whip Hand. Um, let's see here, originally came out in 79, and, uh, this edition here, they don't really, sometimes they say and sometimes they don't. Um, and, and most of you who will realize or will know that uh, Dick Francer, who was a perennial bestseller, uh, writes a lot about horse races and stuff like that. I think his son has picked up the uh, series. To break it up here at the end of the shelf, I've got two westerns, and then the next shelf I do will be more of these mysteries. It's just the way that it, just the way they happen to fall on the shelf. And these are two Elmer Kelton books. So the first one here is uh, Elmer Kelton's Badger Boy. Uh, this is a Tom Doherty Association book, New York, so it's Forge. And it's from uh, 2001. And then we have, by the same author, Ranger's Trail. And that was uh, from 2002. So that's uh, uh, the 14th bookcase, uh, second shelf. Primarily what we had there was the, uh, those best mysteries of all time series by impress a reader's digest company and then um, we'll we'll have quite a few of those on the next shelf so uh thank you booktube